Hey, what is up everybody? This is David Tress for the Love of Play, and today I'm checking out a very interesting game called Velvet Sundown. Um, oof. Oof, where do you even start with this monster? Um, and also, there's stuff going on that- there's gonna be stuff going on in the chat. This is a game where a huge component of it is talking to uh, just people on the internet. People are assuming roles. It's a role-playing game in a lot of ways uh, where people are acting out and actually inputting, uh, you know, their own thoughts and words as dialogue for the character that they're playing. That, of course, means uh, that <laughs> there's going to be some awful shitheads who say some awful stuff. Um, so I just, you know, be forewarned, uh, you know, we'll run into that but before we even get into like a proper um a proper game of this uh i want to show you the tutorial because this game has maybe the most efficient uh, uh tutorial ever and and it says 10 minutes um right there it'll take about 10 minutes to get through this uh i didn't find that to be the case but uh i, I kind of wanted to show it to you guys because i thought it was it was you know a <laughs> pretty interesting tutorial. Okay, here we are. Velvet Sundown tutorial. Very simple stage. Indeed. So get to know the controls. Uh, walk around. We're walking. I interact with the cardboard guide. Click them. Okay, clicked them. Did that. And then, uh, there's a passport items that I have will be shown there. Cool! And that's it. That's the tutorial right there. Pretty effective job at, you know, sort of teaching you how to play the game. Uh, let's get into this. I don't know how long this will take. I might have to cut a little bit out, but, uh, yeah. Hopefully it doesn't take forever. Um, but, but yeah, so that tutorial, I, I just thought it was fascinating because I have no idea how they thought that that would be information that was necessary to convey in its ver in its own stage um, versus like an actual live game. I mean, literally took maybe 15 seconds uh, to sort of grasp all everything going on there. But you know, it's fine. Another thing about this game is that uh, I don't want to spoil the like the main draw of this game because I think it, it's pretty special and you'll see it once we pop into an actual match but um uh so there there are y you can be a subscriber to this game and that gives you access to the premium content uh right now we just have access to this free weekly scenario um I, I consider doing a uh you know just you know doing a quick uh um, signing up for a, an account for a month or so, um, just to do this, uh, spotlight, but I decided against it because I thought this would be, you know, just doing the free one would be sufficient and that's, you know, the, probably the thing that most people are going to play. This will be the majority of players experience with this game. So might as well. All right. So it looks like we found a match. We're going to get into it. We're going to see what Velvet Sundown is all about. Uh, and I'm excited. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Okay, so this is us. We are Dunla Wilson. And who boy do we have some cool hair, uh, pretty cool earrings, seashell, good, good sunglasses. Tell me I can't fly and I'll grow wings wings. Cool. Um, oh man. You were abandoned into the slums of San Pedro as a child and lived a hard life. You learned to fight your way with girl power until you found tennis. Uh, your relentless fighter spirit has taken you all the way to the courts of Wimbledon. Professional. Oh my goodness. Denla. Uh, recently you have been subjected to doping allegations. Something which you refuse to accept. 
doesn't say if you did it or not. It just says you maybe in denial about him. Uh, murder, oh my goodness. There's been a murder on the yacht. You had all gathered in the lounge for tonight's party when you found the captain lying on the floor, stabbed to death. One of you must have done it earlier tonight. You didn't do it. Okay. The Coast Guard has been alerted and they'll be here soon. They asked you to track down your suspicions and write them to the logbook on the sideboard downstairs before they arrive. Hey. Okay. So hey. I am basically playing detective. Uh, so yeah, this it's a little bit like uh, like a murder mystery party or some something like that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oof. Okay, so we're back in it. I thought we had a crash, but it looks like everything's gonna be okay, hopefully. Um, but we'll see in a second. It was right here where it crashed last. We've made it past that point. Okay, so this is where I write down my suspicions at the end of the night. Time to interact. I found evidence. You picked up a light hair from the murder scene. Well, there's only one blondie here, but there's two. Let's talk to Blondie. That's, I just, the, the blonde, yes. Linda would like to chat, let's chat Linda. What a shock. Huh. Poop. What a shock, huh? Poop, Linda offers up. I can't believe does anyone have I was working all night and I saw Ingmar bike shifty all evening. Oh my god. Oh, I can't okay, believe so Mary did. is trying to blame Ingmar, who's that Eddie Izzard looking dude. I don't know who, uh... He wandered all night being fidgety. I know it wasn't Linda. So... Alex knows it wasn't Linda. I got a suspicion on Mary. She's immediately trying to deflect. I'll try to get her alone, you get wish. her cornered. Mary, can we talk alone? Yes, sure. <laughs> Let's take her down here. Um, I got the light hair. I got the pen. Now I just need a confession. Um, and you know, I've, I've watched all se five seasons of The Wire, uh, I, I bet I could get it out of her. Whew, okay, here we go. You think it was what Ingmar? Is it? You think it was Ingmar? So, so now, now the thing. I do. I watched him while on my shift. He was acting nervous. What? Kept darting around halls. What's your job? What's your job? <laughs> so this is this is um. So the, the cool thing about this game, obviously, is the text-to-speech. It's amazing and elevates something that would be so stupid. In first mate. Something that would be just so s silly. Oh, of course. Do you have proof? You know what? I think I need to talk to Ingmar. Hmm. I only saw him being suspicious. Circumstantial. We need proof. Okay, I'm out of here, Mary. 
I'm gonna go chat it up with Ingmar. You know, if anyone on the ship has, you know, a, a reason to get, you know, Mary convicted, it'll be Ingmar because it'll prove his innocence. Oh, let's, so where's the dead body? Where, where did we find it? Here, maybe I can ask these people. So, so yeah, basically, I'm maybe doing a poor job of explaining this game, um, but, uh, oh boy, um, every person has their own objective, and you, it's in your best, um, interest often to keep that a secret, so it sets up these really interesting thing where you are attempting, just through conversation, to, um, you know, resolve your objective um, while other people are attempting to resolve theirs. I'm suspecting that Mary's objective is to pin this murder on Ingmar. Um, but, you know, I don't have any thorough proof for that. Sorry, Linda. But can I have Wi Fi? My. Mary thinks it's you, Ingmar. I have no idea what they're talking about. It's not the board the well, ship when anymore. The dry cleaners call. I oh god. So the, the other problem you run into, Mary. Mary seems fully on board or whoever's playing uh I'm sure you can have it back. So, so often I have Mary's hair found it by the body um you're going to meet Dunla Ingmar and Linda Something this evening has to be planned for them. so Alex doesn't believe it's Mary what do I do? Um. It seems like... W Show the light hair to Linda. Okay. Um, so we have so hair. We, we, yes, we have hair. A footprint. A footprint. Oh, okay. And okay. Galinda. Um, Galinda. Hmm. Where's Linda going? Um, <laughs> but what I was going to say originally is that it seems like some, some people just sort of use this to uh, hear a bunch of robots say dirty things to each other. I think they were, were talking some nonsense before I locked in on them. Um, but, but, you know, I feel like the, the majority of people are kind of interested in... Uh, Oh my god, it's Mary. See, that's the thing. There... I don't know if there's, like, active elements where people can harm you. I, I think there might be. There. Wait, oh, there's Mary. Hmm. So I think it's... I wonder if I can I, I snoop around and uncover anything. Um, but I'm also a little bit worried about... You know, being uh, cornered by Mary now. See, but the thing is, I'm just kind of baffled by this game because I think that it's actually kind of genius. The 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 act of like te text to speech and like the sort of putting you as improvisers in this like in this play in this set piece. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, she's keeping an eye on me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think... I hope she didn't hear me say that I think it's her earlier. I thought she was outside. Let's see what she's up to. 
Um, but I, I just think it's such a good idea, but also it looks like just like visually like the character designs and the names and the music it's just wrapped up in such a bizarre way for this idea for a game that i think is actually really really cool um but i also think that like sort of the bizarreness and the like the cheesy characters um that i'm done with the tennis player and that i'm in this ridiculous outfit uh i think that kind of that makes the game a little bit better. Gives it a little bit of a, a unique character. Okay. Let's get into this group conversation. It seems a perfect life until one night on Yuck it all went wrong. And now she will have to fight for her life as a crazy black bitch named Dunga tries to kill her. From the creators of Sharknado comes a story of intrigue and murder. This time it's personal. Rated R for retarded. Okay. What hammer? Oh, Mary doesn't know. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Question mark. Okay, it's time. I must apologize. Alex, me, <laughs> me, eating outside. <laughs> That's too much I don't fun. mean to okay. troll. Yeah, okay. Alex and I are gonna go chat. I feel like he is the only other person who's kind of invested in solving this thing. Oh, okay, so here's where he was killed. Um, it seems like Ingmar and Linda are just kind of, you know, along for the ride. But I think Alex might, he might, you know, I think he might have some sort of a role that uh, intersects, or an objective that intersects with mine. Yes, done. What do you think? Mary? I'm not sure, but I know that it was a girl. Fucking. How's that? Either Mary or Linda. Dude's a fucking misogynist. Oh, okay. But friend would. In Mars got some tiny ass feet though. <laughs> no, it's not. JK. He probably is the woman. How do we prove it? Mary is a match for the hair. Can we get her shoe? Hmm. Someone inside has the shoe. Mary is trying to pin it on Ingmar. Let's get him on our side and see what he knows. All right. Okay. <laughs> Man, uh, it's hard to even put into words, but there is something that's like, that's totally thrilling about this, despite that it's so silly. Uh-oh, where'd Ingmar go? 
I don't think I can talk um, when I'm not in a conversation. Linda, what are you up to? I'm gonna go check down here. But there's something kind of thrilling about this. It, it does, like, in the same way that, like, role-playing someone at a murder party or, like, a murder mystery party is thrilling. Um, you know, it's fun to pretend to be someone else and to have these sort of heightened objectives um, that you're trying to, uh, you know, resolve. It's really fun. Okay, Ingmar seems kind of like a loose cannon, but uh, maybe we can convince him. I forgive you. It's the drink talking. Thanks. Do you still think it was Ingmar, Mary? Just throwing her under the bus right now. How can it be me? No, I don't. Inmark. I think Alex and I need to speak to you us. alone. Mary's just deflecting. First, it's Ingmar, then it's Linda. Oh, <laughs> a twist. <laughs> Uh, I haven't seen one bit of evidence, nor heard when? any alibis. She wasn't the murderer. I was stealing her phone. Oh god, shut up, Alex. Creep. Come with using Mark. No, you Mary, stay here. Oh, brother. Yes, I was. Even if you guys showed me, I wouldn't be able to process <laughs> what's going on. It was or wait, I don't want to. Oh. Outside, I am just too wasted. Alex, keep an eye on Mary. I really shout and single okay. quote TV play. Inmar, come with me. Please stop telling okay. me. <laughs> oh, that's what happens, Mary, when you commit murder. People, people take control of you. Um, here we go. Come on, Eddie. This and Alex found a woman's shoe print. Okay. Mary is the only match for hair, though. That doesn't prove much. And she was the closest to the captain. The hair could be fake. Her being first mate and all. I don't even know. Hmm. I don't think that matters much. What's your alibi? Do you have anything at all that can help us? I, I don't even know what my no, alibi sorry. is. Can I look at it? Uh... Unless you want my pen. 
Laugh out loud. <laughs> you picked a oh, man. I need more evidence. Sorry, I've been drinking. Whatever anymore. You're goddamn no help. Ah, Linda disconnected though, so that prob that probably means she probably had an essential piece of evidence that we cannot get now. I'm gonna do one last sweep of the uh, of the ship, and then I'm and then I'm making a call and I'm writing down Mary. I don't really see how it could be anyone else. Oh, the velvet. Is, are they all? Do all of the missions take place on my boat? I don't know. Um. Maybe we should check the captain's quarters if we can. It seems like that's probably where Mary and the captain were spending the majority of their time, so hopefully we can find something there. I don't know how we would get that though. I don't even know if it's like an accessible place. Huh. Oh, I'm not okay. Hmm. Okay, it seems like they're not up to anything too unusual. Let's talk to everyone one more time before we make our decision. No, I don't know who does. Let's confront Mary with the evidence. Daniel, do you have the hair? Oh God, get out of the way. How can I? Mary, how do you explain this? Oh, I can't. I'm not the only person with light the hair. Let's just vote <laughs> Lingmar. Not here anyway. It wasn't Linda. All right, you saw her, Alex. You're the only blonde. Ingmar has light hair too. And Linda the hair has an could alibi. Be fake. Why does he keep saying the hair could be fake? True, it could be fake. My hair is sorta of blonde. P S S S S S S S S S S H. Oh, whoops. <laughs> we got an extra ER on there. Murderers. Do you well, I got to go, guys. I have already okay. voted. Good luck. Collusion. <laughs> I gotta do it. I've confronted them. I'm writing it down. Um. Okay, Linda had an alibi, Mary 
was the only uh, hair match. Okay. And uh, a foot. A woman's footprint was found by the body. Linda had an alibi. Mary was the only hair match. A woman's footprint it was found by the body. Be Mary. Not Marty. Not. Here we go. It must be Mary. Okay. Um, I don't know if that proves anything. Is Alex? Well, uh, that was Velvet Sundown. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, I'd really like to get the whole Love of Play crew in uh, in one of these games and play with the, all of them. Uh, because that's one of the great things you about playing this game is that when you're playing with a friend, you have no indication as to who is controlling which character. So it, it creates this this thing that like a, a, a like a murder mystery party could never create there is this uh this sort of a, a illusion there's this like point of abstraction where you're not sure the people that you're communicating because you can't tell their voice outside of the the way that they're speaking to you um you really have no indication to as to who's who which is just super fun i think that game's really goofy i might even uh you know get the premium version and then uh, check out some of those missions just because it's so much fun. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching everyone and I will see you all next time. Bye.